In the previous video, I helped you understand how do you draw the basic box plot. But if you, if you see the box plot options, you have four different types of box plots that are possible. We, we discussed option number way A, the simple one. Now we go to option number two, with groups. Here you can create box plot by subgroups. So graph variable, I'm, I'm still continuing to use the total breakage, C9. I want to understand total breakage by, let's say, let's, let's take a discrete example of C16 here. If you see, I have different kinds of ovens. So I would want to understand whether oven, press OK, it gives you the distribution of breakage by the oven type. So I have three ovens, A, B, and C. It gives me box plot by the three ovens. Again, should you want to add the reference line, you remember where to go. Go to scale, go to reference line, and add. Let's, let's do the same example, 10.0 being my target. Press OK. It gives you the reference line. Old schooler me, target line in red. You take your own call. If you touch any of these boxes, it will start to give you the denominations. Please be very careful when you are using a box plot bit because it does not look at number of samples. Here you see oven number A has 111, N is equal to 111, while the sample size for oven number B is 49 only, and for oven number C, it is 48 only. Although not, not a complete no-no, but you must be, must be careful in such comparisons. I hope this helps.